What is up GT gang? Welcome back to the channel if you're new. I'm Mojo GT and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. This is by far hands down the most excited I have been to upload a video. This video has, first of all, has my dad in it a bunch. We actually do what we've been wanting to do, which is race the car. You'll see what happens when we race it. But anyway, again, thank you so much for clicking on the video. So we're going to continue on doing what we've been doing for the last like two months now. And that's read a Bible verse. Bless your guys' day. Bless the video. And let's just get right into it. Nobody's recommended a Bible verse in the last couple days since I last uploaded this video. So I had to come up with one. And what I came up, what I came up with is John 4.13 through 14. I'll read it to you guys right now. All right. So John 4.13 reads, Jesus replied, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again, but those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. So my takeaways for that is, and I didn't take notes on this one, but if you're struggling with uh, with any type of addiction, this could, this doesn't mean you know drug addiction. This means addicted to caffeine, addicted to nicotine, you know, you're addicted to that cup of coffee, right? Anything that is something that's temporary, that's of this world that you have actually worshipped in a sense. So only the only thing that can give you that eternal life that can actually, you know, for lack of better term, scratch the itch that you have is Jesus. He can provide you energy. He can provide you um, whatever it is that you're searching for, whether it's this hole that you're trying to fill Jesus can feel that. So I'm not going to keep diving too much into it, but I think you get the point of view that I'm trying to get across. And once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for staying with me. It's a little bit longer of an intro. Um, you're going to see a lot of my dad in this, and it's really hard for me to edit, but I love it so much. It puts nothing but a huge smile on my face. Um, that being said, I'll catch you guys at the end. Thank you so much for going through the intro with me, and God bless you guys. All right, guys, it is the next morning. We are ready to go to Mopar Nats. So got the car out of the trailer last night. The battery was absolutely toast. Luckily, we were able to get it going. Anyway, we're going to put in the racetrack, and we're going to head that way. My dad is going to be following me in the truck and trailer so we can leave it at Mopar Nats, hopefully. That being said, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Hey, how's it going? I need a pen. I didn't have one. 
fantastic. I'm gonna pull right in front of here if that's okay. Got it, thank you, sir. All right, guys, I'm gonna follow this text so you can get back to you. So I'm not gonna say this right here, but yeah. The inspection was pretty much, do you have a heartbeat? Does your car run? Here you go! Because <laughs> right, it's Hemi, there's that safety stuff, you know what I mean? Right. It's the factory, whatever. Look at that. That's a Hemi. Yeah. A Hemi. Oh, yeah. tech inspection and we got some some fanage going on right now but anyway we're gonna get everything ready throw my helmet on we entered the hemi class we will be racing the car for the first time today stay tuned Obviously, somebody is going to be running towards the comments right after I made this comment. So, obviously, the first pass went 11.55. Advertised Hellcat is like five, like 11.3, I think. But right before this race, a Hellcat on only a tire, everything stock as far as motor goes, all suspension was stock. All they all I threw on was a drag radial, and they ran an 11.57, which means my car at Mopar Nationals went two hundredths of a second faster than the Hellcat. So that's where that came from. I obviously know that <clears throat> from the factory, um, they always advertise that the car is way faster than what you can actually run it on the drag strip. But anyway, uh, that's where I got that from. Let's keep going up the video. All right, guys, we're gonna do a second pass. I forgot to record or click record. So we're gonna go ahead and get you guys going. I need to send the tuner a great data log. Hopefully we can get our tune by the end of the day. So. I'll get you guys when we're in the staging lane. We'll do a nasty burnout, etc. So uh, I just get in the moment and I forget to record. So we'll get data log, make sure you guys record, and then we'll go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nowhere to go but up. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> number one day is concluded we ran pretty consistently mid 11s uh, my air fuel ratio was actually super rich so we're hoping to turn up the timing get a little bit leaner and make close to a 10 second pass so anyway the car ran great all day long i had a vacuum line that melted that i had to kind of cobble something up anyway it works and we're going to drive this thing to the hotel 18 minutes so we're going to lock everything up and then come back tomorrow all right, guys, we are officially done with day one. We went three passes and averaged about 11 and a half seconds at the quarter mile. So we have some ideas to get it down to that low 11 seconds, high 10 second range. We are going to try to pick up some race gas tomorrow. My tuner said it's okay to throw some race gas. It actually be better to run it. So 
Um, we're gonna lower the air pressure and the rear tires. And what else are we gonna do? Um, well, you got your blow off. Oh yeah, fix the blow off valve line. I, th I don't think I even showed you guys that, but anyway, I ended up taking a blow gun that had like an eight inch long uh, line on the end of it. We broke it apart and we were able to use hose clamps to fix this line. It works great now. Basically what happened, what was happening was the blow off valve wasn't opening at all and it's supposed to blow off air until 2 psi because it's supercharged and it wasn't doing that so when it hit the gas that air would have nowhere to go and it would go out through the pro charger and uh, it would kind of flutter almost like um, you hear turbocharged cars that surge it's basically the same thing we were able to fix that we're gonna lower tire pressure tomorrow and i sent a data log to my tuner we we're running mid 10s on afr so if we get that closer to mid 11s this thing will be running like a raped ape and i mean you'll see the footage i think i got one solid video going down the track of me so you should be able to see that it's running really really good and it's kind of taking the punches we're throwing at it so we're gonna go ahead and end the video tonight and uh, we'll make up a whole nother video hopefully you guys watch that one as well so uh, as always see you later peace okay so i know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions on what you just saw right the car is a 426 with a pro charger why are you only running 11 fives at best right okay so a few simple things to answer that first of all uh, you've got hundreds of cars drag racing on the strip quality of the strip deteriorates the best pass i made that today was the first pass and i felt like that was by far my worst performance pass anyway let's talk about the car afrs were mid to high tens at best under wide open throttle. So we're looking to get around 11 and a half to one AFRs for maximum efficiency, right? Um, the closer you get to that number, the better it's gonna run. Um, we were running, man, mid 30s for PSI. Like I literally drove the car there and then didn't change anything. It's kind of funny looking back on it, but mid to high 30s for tire pressure in the back. Timing was really low. We were running like 11, 12 degrees of timing. I just watched the data log. Max I saw was 12 degrees, but under wide open throttle at high RPM, we run about 11. So, you know, we're running this rich, having this little amount of timing because the fuel that we're using, which is 93, is not a high enough uh, resistance to knock. So we need to go to E85 or get tuned on higher than 93 octane. That way we can raise the, the timing and we can take a little bit more fuel out of it to get closer to 11 half to one. And in the future, we're looking at upgrading the blower. But I'm just letting you guys know before as people start flaming me in the comments for running 11 fives with this built car. That's the scenario. Realistically, this car is gonna be a low 10, high nine car. That's the goal. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I can't even say that enough. God bless you. Leave a Bible verse down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.